Let's be honest, everyone needs documents signed. Whether you're a small business or big, you got people to hire, people to fire, JV contracts, NDAs, you got wills to prepare, you're buying a website, you're buying a domain, you're selling a domain, and so on and so on. It's always a good idea to have everything signed and sealed. With that in mind, I wanna go ahead and present to you DocuPanda. DocuPanda is your all-in-one platform that helps you get signature fast, instantly, and actually recognized by government. Let's go ahead and take a look at the dashboard. Now, once you actually log into DocuPanda, you will see a dashboard on the left. You will see how many documents are on your system. So these are documents that you have signed or pending that you can access right away. You can also see how many signatures you have, you have gotten. You can also go ahead and see how many people have, you know, are is how many people have not signed the document that you sent out to them. On the right, you'll see pending signatures. These are the people who have not signed it yet. You can actually go ahead and send them a reminder by clicking on the resend button right here. You can also go ahead and click on documents. Now let's go ahead and create a new document. I'm gonna go ahead and click on add document. Now you have a couple of options. Your option number one is to go ahead and use a blank template, meaning you create your own legal paperwork or document that you want people to sign, right? Very simple. Option number two is we have actually added most popular legal in you know, the documents that a lot of people were requesting on our system right here. Now you can use these and you know you can modify them to your purpose. Keep keep in mind that you, we are adding more uh, documents as time goes on. Let's go ahead and give this document a name. I'm going to call call it Hire uh, Document. Simple as that. I'm going to go ahead and click on Independent Contractor. I'm going to go ahead and click on Continue. And keep in mind, I can I have to modify all these, but I'm going to skip all of it. I'm going to go at the bottom. I'm going to go ahead and click on Save Document, and I will go to Back to Documents. Now, my option here is to send this document out to the people who I want it to get signed from. I'm going to go ahead and click on this button right here. I'm going to go ahead and enter all the emails who I want this document to be signed from. Keep in mind you can get this document signed from multiple people, as many people as you like. Just go ahead and enter their email with a comma. So comma, a new email right here. You get the idea, right? I'm going to go ahead and click on send. And instantly what's going to happen is uh, the user is going to get an email. Let's go ahead and check, refresh. And they got an email right here. This is the email, I'm gonna go ahead and open this up. And let's go ahead and open this up. I'm gonna go open it on a new window so I can show it to you properly. And keep in mind the document can be signed not just from a computer, it can also be signed from a mobile device, it can also be signed from uh, you know, uh, um, tablets, you name it, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and enter my name right here. I'm also going to enter my initials, my phone number and my address, and I'm also going to go ahead and do the signature, very easy, right? And I'm going to go ahead and click on sign right here on the bottom. Now once I've signed the document, it's actually going to send me a copy of the document very easily. Let's go ahead and take a look. It should be on my email right here. You've signed the document. It's actually giving me a copy of my own document. So when you ask someone to sign a document, right, they probably want a copy of the documents, right? So that's what it's gonna do. It's going to send them a copy of the document that you requested them to sign very easily. Now let's go back to our dashboard right here. I'm gonna go ahead and click on dashboard. Now on dashboard, I'm gonna go ahead and refresh it. And you will notice that there is no pending button anymore. This says sign. So everyone has signed this document. Now, my option is to go ahead and download it if I really want to. Now, once when I download it, it's a PDF file. I'm gonna skip all of it, go to the bottom. Now at the bottom, that's my name, the person who actually signed it, their email. It also has their uh, phone number. It also has their address their IP address. In my case, it's a proxy IP address. It's for demo purpose. And it has something called fingerprint. Now, what is a fingerprint? You're thinking fingerprint is basically uh, you know, a unique a logarithm created by DocuPanda that actually pinpoints people's device IDs. It actually points pin, pinpoints people's location and many more things. So 
just in case, you know, just in case, let's say you get into a dispute and you're at court, you know, like, wait, you know, I got this, all this and I need it to be verified by uh, a DocuPanda. So let's say uh, an officer or law officer wants to get it verified, they can through fingerprint. And uh, we have the logarithm. It's also, uh, you know, a, uh, it's also, uh, we can actually share that uh, a logarithm and access information with the law uh, inform, for informants officer as well. So that's just for your protection and uh, in case you get into a dispute. We also have your date and uh, time of signature as well. So you have all this information. Keep in mind all the pages are initial, very simple. So it does everything that you need it to do uh, and make it legal, okay? Make it legal. Now let's go back to our dashboard. And keep in mind, you can you can always duplicate it. You can always send it to more people. You can modify things if you want to. And also keep in mind that you cannot modify a document once you know people have signed it. Obviously, for obvious purposes. But if you want to get a you know, if let's say you you send a document to someone and they signed it, right? A best way to do this would be to actually duplicate that and you know send it to someone else, right? Once you modify a document, it's it's not valid anymore. So keep those things in mind. Everything is integrated in the system for you. So you don't have to remember those things. You'll, it's actually in the system for you, okay? Now on the dashboard, of course, it has all of these things. Let's go ahead and click on documents and uh, that's pretty much it. Now, if you